I've told you things today that you didn't know. Right? Now you have to be honest with yourself, Karen. You've told me things that I need would to it, go, would, all right. on, I need to go and look uh, all right. at. Would it matter to you if John Wife... Where, what, where did you get your information about the scripture that you said isn't there? Because I would look at... No, no, that's what I'm home. saying to you. Yeah. But what I'm saying to you is this, Karen. If you go home and you find a First John 5, 7 is a forgery, how is that going to affect your belief? You don't know who your authors are. You don't know were they there? Did they lie? Were they crazy? They were eyewitnesses to the... But you don't know who those eyewitnesses were, whether they had agendas, whether they were mistaken, whether they saw something that wasn't there, whether they wanted to add an addition. As I showed you, some author of your New Testament, John, 1 John 5, 7, has put a doctrine in there that is not present prior, which means authors of your gospels and your books in your New Testament are manipulating the text for their own agenda. No laws. Yeah, that's your Same. No, that's a fact. Okay, what laws do you have in Christianity? Right. There's many. Name one. You know fine well that the, the laws. Didn't Jesus? Didn't well, it, it, wasn't the laws fulfilled? No, we're, we're under the laws of Christ now. We're not under the. So what does that mean? So what does that mean? So whatever is reiterated. So what did Jesus reiterate? Well, then. Well, in the New just Testament, go on, then. Yeah, those are the things that we need to follow. Now, what wasn't reiterated in the New Testament out of the Ten Commandments was the, the, the Sabbath, because Jesus is our Sabbath day rest. Right. That was only one that wasn't reiterated. The rest were, therefore, we, if, even if you think about it, about doing wrong, you're doing it in your mind as far as the Lord is concerned. That's not what Jesus says. Sorry? That's what Jesus says. If you think about it, you're doing it. That's not Jesus. Jesus says, according to your scripture that you believe is true, think not I've come to destroy the laws of the prophets before me. I'm not here to destroy but to fulfill. Not a tittle tattle will pass from the law till all be fulfilled. And he did fulfill it. So, so that's the law's finished then? The, the law of Moses is finished. Okay, so, now under the law of Christ. Okay, so according to the teachings of Jesus, what do you do with a rapist? What's his punishment? We should still be terribly, well, probably even... Stoned for it, yeah. A rapist should be stoned? According to what law? According to the law of Moses. Well, I thought Jesus fulfilled the law. He did fulfill the law. No, no, but... He fulfilled the law, so we're now under the law of Christ. That's what we believe. I'm not asking you to believe it, I'm saying... No, I understand. We Christians believe we're under the law of Christ. Karen, I understand what you no believe. No one can keep the law. That's why he had to come. No one can keep it, because even if they didn't physically do something, like you, you didn't physically murder someone... Right. Well, you, in your heart, you wanted to, but you didn't do it. Right. Jesus said, it's as good as you've done it. Do you understand? No, Jesus didn't say that. Yes, he did. No, he doesn't. Jesus says if you commit adultery in your heart, if you if you lust after somebody, you've committed adultery in your heart. But he doesn't say you should be stoned to death for it. Not now. No, then. Didn't, he, didn't the woman who committed adultery was sent away according to what your script said? Why didn't Jesus, why didn't Jesus stone her? Because he's come to give us No, but he, he followed the laws of Moses. Why didn't he stone her? He was he completed the law so that we don't have So the law of Moses don't apply no more. The Ten Commandments, nine. No, 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 no. Stoning yes, the adulteress is not the Ten Commandments. We are we're still under law, but we because we've taken No, but do you believe Jesus was sinless, isn't it? Yes, it is. And Jesus said he without sin cast the first stone. So why did he not stone the woman? Because it was his commandment. He was showing them how he had come to forgive them, to be the the sacrifice. He knew he was going to be no, that's not what Jesus taught though. World. Jesus didn't teach that. Jesus taught don't don't break the laws. Well, once you've done, so, so long as you accept Jesus, you understand? No, so no. Long, I, hold on, hold on. I'm telling you, so long as you accept Jesus as the Savior, which we believe he came to do, you don't. So we're going to go round and round. And no, no. Round what we're going to do? Round. Yes, we are. We're not going round. Because you don't believe anything. No, 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 no. The point here is this, and I, I like, as, like I say, um, I don't mind coming onto the Quran. It's not a problem. But what I'm saying to you is this. I've told you things today that you didn't know, right? Now you have to be honest with yourself, Karen. You've told me things that I need would to it, go. Would, all right. On, I need to go and look uh, all at. All right. Would it matter to you if John Wife? Where, what, where did you get your information about the scripture that you said isn't there? Because I would look at. No, no, that's what I'm home. saying to you. Yeah, but what I'm saying to you is this, Karen. If you go home and you find a First John five seven is a forgery, how is that going to affect your belief? I, I just know it won't. No, no. If you do, would it affect what you believe? But you question, would you question well, of it? Of course, if it wasn't there... That's it. You'd question why it's not there. I wouldn't be silly and then say, oh yeah, I'm just going to make it up and pretend it was there. But, it, but I don't believe what you believe. I, know, I believe I, that the, the Gospels are true. I appreciate that we're saying. And many things that 
having been put in there is because this is what we need. No, I agree. I agree. What is in there is what we need. Many other things were said. Even Jesus said, if you know, if if everything was written, no, John said that. Jesus, Jesus didn't say that. Yeah. Jesus if everything was written about yeah, yeah but Jesus, Jesus didn't say that. All right. You're right. But anyway, forget that. Forget that. No, 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 no. Then the, the world couldn't contain it. The books couldn't contain it. I'm not fair to try and try to take the mix. So Make the mix? No, but I do see how they, they get a glee in this. I was speaking to Mansur. Yeah, you know him? Mansur, yeah. Yeah, they're sniggering. You don't love to. Anyway, no, 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 no. I, hold on. I was speaking I was speaking to him. Listen, I, I, I was speaking to him. And he was saying how peaceful Islam is and how accepting they are of Christians in their country. And to go home, yeah, right. to see myself, that's why I don't want to be filmed facially, to see myself on YouTube and the comments, to show him. And um, these two, these two imbeciles should be beheaded. That's what the guy wrote. It's he, pathetic. He, he, was no, it's on, he, had, he, he was brazen, he had his face in the picture and everything. Shall I, sh but right. not only that, All right. there was many... Can underneath. I show you something? You know what they were saying? Many on All right. Oh, uh, hold on. I, I, I bet, I bet she's got a hangover from yesterday right. and I bet she's going to go okay. and sleep with the guy, hold on, that she's with and all these accusations. How dare they? How dare they come? And But, but it's peaceful. It's disgusting. But it's loving. But, and he's a Muslim can I count guy. You? And many of them can were I count agreeing. You? Many of them were agreeing. Well, well, can I count saying, you? Let me you know, count you. That all Do you watch so-called films? Sorry? Do you watch so-called films? I don't really watch No, no, no Soko. Bob the Builder and all that. All right, go to Soko. I go to Soko channel. Go to Bob the Builder, where I discuss with Bob the Builder, yeah? And read the comments. Or you're loving Christians. I say the same. So what? They're not Christians saying. If they're doing that, they're not Christians. No, you can say they're not active. Not everyone that says that a Christian or a Christian, like not everyone that says I'm a Muslim's a Muslim. Yeah, but you've now categorized you know all Muslims. Yeah, but no, what I'm saying is this, look. They're a good about in everyone, and the internet trolls are the internet trolls. And they'll, they'll say what they say. Okay. I get so much abuse of everyone online. Right. This is why I'm not really into this because it's like, no, no, no. Like a, hold on, it's like a puppy show to me. No, it's not. Though. Not to you. Yes, they like to come around, have a snigger, have Karen. a ball, and then slag you off for a night. At first, it just started off with us debating about why I no, give Karen. the scripture. But hold on. Right, it started off as yes. a, it doesn't matter what I'm going to say here, you are going to tear me apart here and online. Karen, Karen. So, this is excuse me, this is where if you're looking for approval, yes, me, right, yes, you're looking here to see what, yes, I don't need approval. This is what I feel we do to Christians, do you understand? Do what? So, I could go round and round, excuse me, I could go round and round showing you, and you can go round and round saying this isn't true, this isn't true. So, I'm going to call it a day now because right, I'm kind of parched as well, no problem, and I'm not going to be stupid. Because when we first started talking, it was between me and you. Okay. Now we've got a whole audience that, that are jeering in themselves. Oh, listen to what she said. And the questions that you ask, you... All right, can I say something to you, though? Specific questions. Now, I've asked you about the Hadith. I, I, I explained it to you. So do you believe that the whole of the Quran, everything in the Quran is true? Yes. And, and, and it's godly? Yes. Many of it's not. Many things. Name are one thing. Okay, let me name one. Um, it is okay. Name one thing. I've got two. It is okay for men to hit their wives so long as they don't bruise them, so long as they don't mark them. Yeah, is that, is that in the Quran? Is that what the Quran says? I'm asking you, is it in the Quran? No, that's not in the Quran. So where is it? What do you mean? Is it in a hadith? No, you asked me, is it all right for men to hit is their it, wives? Is it in a hadith? Right, I'll make it easy for you. No. Wait, I'm asking, is it in uh, a hadith? Uh, okay. Remember I said to you that when the, when the Quran says to pray, and what the Prophet Muhammad says is how to pray? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So if the Quran says beat your wife... I didn't say beat. He's allowed no, but, to hit her if she's not being a No, beating. no, no, no. The Quran says... It, 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 you could translate it as beat your wife. But then the Prophet Muhammad says, says this, right? Do not hit the face. Listen, listen. Okay, go yeah? on. You can uh, laugh I'm as you just, like. No, I'm not. I'm just... You find that funny? No. I'm, I'm, so I want you. I want you to explain I, I, this beating. I, I, are we going to get listen? down to the yeah, fact yeah, that yeah. you are allowed to hit? No, are you going to listen? Are you going to listen? You, can, yeah. oh, listen. You, you cannot hit the face. Cannot leave a mark. Cannot cause pain. Right. What kind of beating is that? Well, how do they address the? What, what does it say? You, what know, kind of you is must that? know the verse. What no, is no, the verse? but you, you, you brought it up. You now, All right. No, you asked me a question. What is the verse? No, you asked. That you're interpreting. To oh, oh, my, all right. Can the, you say all the, right the verse it's so referring to is if you find your wife in a situation of immor immorality, right? First of all, you should admonish her. All right, admonish her, tell, tell her what she's doing is wrong. And if she persists in this wrongness, then you should separate yourself from the bed. Yeah? 
So you shouldn't sleep in the same bed as her. So she knows that you're upset with her. And if finally that uh, it comes to the point where she still persists, then you can hit her, right? But don't cause pain, don't leave a mark, or don't hit the face. So explain to me this hitting. It's symbolic. Okay. So listen, this is what we believe. You believe it's symbolic. So, of course. So men don't do it. Do you, men don't do you, take no, no, it no. as literal. Okay. If the prophet says, don't hit the face, don't cause a mark, and don't leave pain, is that a beating? But why bother putting it in there? Is it what, a beating? Well, well, no. So what's Right, is so it it's symbolic, isn't it? So, it's, it's an indication, because what, what's after that? Arbitration. Because right up until this point in this issue, it's between the man and his wife. After that, it becomes um, other people come involved in this. So it's letting the wife know it's going to move on to another level now. Now, the whole point is this. If you find your wife in bed with another man, the first reaction is to slap him and her. First reaction. But what does the Quran say? No, you can't do that. First thing you ought to do, what are you doing? And then, because most crimes committed in a crime of passion is in the heat of the moment. So what the verse of the Quran does, it cools it all down. Yeah, you have to do these first two steps first. How can you do this and then retain that anger? It's just impossible. And do male Muslim men follow that or, or do they actually think, well, I can do such and such so long as she's not really in pain? Do they actually do well, this? No, no, no. The point here is this. No Muslim man believes it can hit his wife. I don't believe it. And I don't think they can justify it either. So you asked me about it beating your wife. You said this verse. I didn't the, say I didn't... beating. I said hitting. No, it hits him my wife, beats him. What's the difference? Different. Oh, okay. You can slap your wife. Can you beat your wife in uh, Christianity? No. Where? Where was it? So you can't. Oh, we know that we're not, we're supposed to love one another. Why does it say that? Why does it say you can't? Well, it does, doesn't say you can. Oh, so doesn't, you Jesus say, doesn't, say you doesn't Jesus say to uh, um, beat children? You can, you can discipline children. Beat children. I didn't say that. No, the, Jesus says that. Say what does Jesus say? You can discipline them. The rod of correction. Yeah, What's the rod of correction? Them. Whatever. And whatever don't Christians right. batter get kids? Don't the no, nun... No, no, oh, no. come on. I'm, I'm going to tell you, the, the only... Oh, excuse me. It depends what's a Christian. Do you understand? Well, Not everyone that says they're a oh, Christian. No, but Christian, Karen, right? you don't decide who a Christian is. Right. I knew a Christian family. Right. I'm going to tell you what right. he had. He had three daughters. Right. Yeah. And he believed in smacking. Right. To discipline. Right. But he would let them know before. So they've done something really right. bad. He'll go to them yeah. and say, that what you've done warrants a smack. Right. He will smack them in an appropriate way, say on the thigh, say with a slipper, because he might not want to use his hand. He's not going to take up a big wooden stick on an iron bar. He'll take up a slipper, and that was bad. And then after it, he will embrace the child. Oh, that, that's that him. What, uh, Daddy didn't want to do that. Daddy done it because... Well, did I? Daddy didn't want to do it, but he wants to teach him a lesson, and then... Your kid, and then they'll reconcile Beautiful. again, and hopefully. Well, this is this is. That's not what Jesus hold said. Up, hold up, This you're asking me. Do Christians? No, beat, I didn't. You did. You said do. No, do Christians that. beat I didn't their say that. children? I said, did so, Jesus teach it? But you you also said, but Christians beat their children. No, I said, well, if you go right. to, I challenge you, speak to any one who went to a. a well, that, that, that was the only time that I've the nuns, heard the I, nuns batter right, kids. Me, I haven't visually seen it. Do you understand? But the. The time when I did spend time in this man's house with, with his three daughters, his wife, when he done it, he done it. And I he, agree. He said, you cannot do it in anger. You can't do it in no, rage. No, but what's not fair? And you have to do it I in, agree. A, in, a, in a way where the child understands why that. they're getting it. But what's That's not what fair? But what's not fair? I haven't experienced being around any other Christian that have done no, it no, in no, another but, way. But what's not fair is you take a Muslim. I tell, I tell you the teachings of Islam is that you can't beat wives, right? And then you said, oh, well, why do Muslims do it? That was your point, right? And I'm saying to I'm you, asking, do they do but it? Christians are justified in beating their saying, children. I'm saying not beating, disciplining them in a in a way where they spare the rod, spoil the child. Yes. That. What does that mean? We got smacked as children. There was four of us. Do you think it's good to beat children? My, I never got to beat them. From no, but do you dad. think it's good? No. You don't think, I don't it's, good? think it's good? No. But Jesus but does says it's... it say to beat them? No. Why does it say to beat what them? What does it mean? Spare the rod. The rod of correction. What does that mean? It could be your mouth. It could be a slipper. It could. The rod of correction. A slipper. Let's say a slipper. Let's say slipper. Do you think but it's you justified? Don't go, you don't go hell bent with that slipper till, till, till they're, oh, till they're absolutely... Oh, just compress a little bit. You're not in camera, don't worry. Till they're don't. absolutely red and bruised. No. Where does it say that? They don't do that. Where does it say that? Jesus, well, where does it say he is allowed Where's to Where's the limits them? of the beating? Jesus never said you can beat your child. Spare the rod, spoil the child. You didn't, that's not beating. What is it? You're using a rod of correction. What does that mean? Right. Say, say, I've, I can remember doing this. You just had the slipper. Can, 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 hold on. I can remember as a Christian. No, I wasn't a Christian actually at the time because my daughter was in a buggy. I can remember going up 
a specific hill and I'm in the butt, she pushing her, she kept popping open her thing to get out. It was a busy road. So I've told her, stop it, put her back in again. She's bust out, stop it, put her back in again. Then the next time she done it, I took her out. I dragged her out, yeah, and I shook her and I said, stop it now, do you understand? Because we're, we're, we're on the main road where she could have got hurt, yeah? Yeah, put her back in the buggy. She's crying now because I've shook her up. I didn't hurt her. I let her know, I'm serious. I'm not playing with you. Stay in the buggy. And as soon as I put her back in the buggy, she stayed put. She knew now to stay put. I didn't hurt her. But for her own sake, I let her know. Right, what so, you're doing right, right, is right, right. wrong. So, no, but the point and here I is wasn't this. even a Christian Can, then. No, no, but the point here is this. A Christian could pull the Bible, beat children and say, Jesus told me to do this. But that, no, no, I'm not saying that. He did not say to do that. No, he, no, no. he didn't say not to do that. He actually encouraged it. A rod of correction. Whatever the rod of correction. Correct yeah, but there's no definition. Right. Now, here's the difference, you see. And this is the beautiful thing. The Quran says to beat your wives, but the Prophet Sassam shows us how to do it. Jesus says beat your children, but doesn't show you how to do it. So you've got no limits. So, I, I, so if you go to... If you go to a, a Christian person... Have you seen what they do in Africa me, to them kids? Excuse me. A Christian person who is following the Lord, who's following in the ways of the Lord... Can beat his excuse kids. me. Would not beat their children. Well, Jesus says to, so why wouldn't he? No, no. He said a rod of correction. So yeah. within limits to let the child know uh, not to beat them black and blue. No, no, no. no one's saying oh, that. Okay. So, so, Here's so. my rod of correction. Yeah. It's <laughs> oh. standard, isn't it? And there's no limits now. Where does Jesus say? How many strokes? No. Of course there's a limit because if you're following the Lord, you're not going to act in that way. You're not going to get vicious. Jesus you're says not, to do it. But he... Oh, Jesus would not and we can even mean... go deeper I can even go deeper according to the Old Testament according to Jesus who is the God of the Old Testament he says kill the children what children? the children who are disobedient to their parents stone them to death? no kill them how? Uh, maybe stone them I don't know what, what method of kill does, the ch does, children, matter of, uh, does a matter of execution matter? they are disobedient according to the Old Testament yes so if you've got the Old Testament, and Jesus is the God of the Old Testament, because you believe Jesus is God. So in the Old Testament, Jesus is telling people to kill the children who misbehave for their parents. And then you've got the New Testament telling Jesus, saying, don't forget, slap your kids. Okay. This is what you believe. He didn't say that. Oh, but he look at the difference. But look at the difference of Islam. Look at the difference of Islam. Can't cause pain. Cause... Subhanallah. So, so, look at the mercy. So Muslim, you don't smack your kids. Who, me? No. Yeah, no. Do you have any? You have two daughters. And, is it within I have the, slapped them. Right, that's what I'm saying. Is it within the, the Muslim way to smack your child <laughs> if they're disobedient? Is Say it, it again, sorry. Is it, is it the Muslim way to slap your child if they're disobedient? No. It's not. Who are you? Oh, I see. That it's way. not. Huh? It's not. No. Oh. I can remember when I moved into my flat, yeah? I've got a Muslim family on both You're sides of me. You're doing it again. No, I want to say something. You're doing it again, though. Can I just say something? doing what again? You're bringing out anecdotes of a Muslim who may not be following the religion properly and you're going to tell me his actions and then apply it to the teachings of Islam. When I've just told you what the teachings of Islam is not that. So I, I don't care what that, that guy did. Can... I'll bring you Muslims who drink alcohol. Does Islam allow bringing alcohol? No, of course it doesn't. I don't bring Muslims who have girlfriends. Does Islam allow that? Of course it doesn't. What's that got to do with Islam? I am not interested, I'll be honest with you, Karen, in the actions of Muslims. I don't care. I didn't become a Muslim because I want to be so like why, them. Why are you asking me then Oh, is it okay for Christians to whack and, and, and abuse no. their children? No, all right, I'll explain it to you. That's because abuse. You, no, that would be abuse. I'll explain not, to you. We're not told You're to abuse to our children. No, but I'll explain we're it to you. We're not told to hammer them. I'll explain or, it to you. Or, or, you know, You've got, no, excessive. no. It goes back to your original question about why do you need a hadith? Okay. So we right, have... Yes, that's what I'd like. Right. So we have a walking... See, Aisha used to call them Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the walking Quran. So the Quran is guidance of... Sorry, uh, the record of man's history a guidance for man's present, and a warning of what's to come. All right, that's the Qur'an. And it, it's not about a book of Muhammad Sallallahu and his life and where he went and what he did. It's nothing to do with that. Yeah? It is from God about man's history, present, and future. Okay. The hadith narrate the actions of Muhammad. And Muhammad is, and the prophet, and the, in the Qur'an, Allah tells us to follow the example of the Muhammad. Mm. So we look, so how do we follow what Muhammad did? How do we know what he did? How do we know what he said? Because we have the hadith, which is commentary on his life. And then what we have though, we have the, we can have the veracity to, so we can study the veracity of the claims. So did he really say that? Who said he said that? Now you, in, as in, going back to your New Testament now, you don't have that. 
You don't know who your authors are. You don't know were they there? Did they lie? Were they crazy? They were eyewitnesses to the. But you don't know who those eyewitnesses were. Whether they had agendas. Whether they were mistaken. Whether they saw something wasn't there. Whether they wanted to add an addition. As I showed you, some author of your New Testament, John, First John five seven, has put a doctrine in there that is not present prior. Which means authors of your gospels and your books in your New Testament are manipulating the text for their own agenda. You have that. We don't have that in the Quran. I can find that wherever. That's what I said to you, Karen. That's all I want you to do, like just, just first John 5 7, all I want you to do is go look at textual criticism and higher criticism of, of that, right? Higher criticism challenges the um, authorship, textual criticism challenges the, the, the dif differentiation of the text. Regardless, it's mentioned in many other places as well. So No, that's not the point, though. That's not the point I'm making. I'm not challenging concept of Trinity here. I'm challenging the whole concept that your, your Bible is a reliable source of information. Because if that verse has been manipulated and added, what else has? Because you only have the oldest Bible, the oldest Bible manuscripts you have in completion is the 4th century. So for 400 years, we don't know what was prior because you don't have it. You only have your, your New Testament in completion, Codex Sinaiticus, 4th century. So for 400 years... Which of those verses have been added? And I'll explain it to you why. The story of the adulterous woman, he without sin cast a first stone, isn't in the fourth century manuscripts. Acts 8.37, reasons for baptism, believing that Jesus was the son of God, isn't in the uh, oldest manuscripts. So you have books now, so you have verses in your Bible today which are not present in the oldest manuscripts. So, That's what so, you have to so, question. So the prophets of old who prophesied Jesus is coming, how he would come, what he would do, how he would die, is all prophesied in the Old Testament and it's, it, he fulfilled it okay. when he came. First, so, 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 oh, okay, I get yeah. that. If that's and the I'm case. Gonna, I'm going to end it there. Uh, okay, I'm but let me just leave it on one thing, I'm if you don't mind. It it, ask yourself that's, this question. That's my take on it. This is I, I get that, I get that. that you seem to be saying. Is Little one verse. No, no, no. This no, is so an example. This is an example of fabrication in your book. This is an example, which means it can't be the word of God if men can fabricate verses and put them in there. Because how do you differentiate what is word of God, what isn't word of God? Now, here's, a, here, here's the biggest problem. One. Yep, I just missed the point. It went out of my brain. What's the big one? It went. Ah, it was a killer as well. Ah. Oh, yes, that was it. Sorry, right, that's back now. Right, so you're saying the Old Testament prophecies, prophesies that. If that's the case, why don't the Jews believe in Jesus? It's their book. But I'll tell you why. Tell me why. Because they believed that he was going to come. We were going to put everything straight. He was going to set up the kingdom there and then that he wasn't going to come and why die. didn't they believe that because that was also prophesied but that's that's the second coming of Jesus no no what as you've done concern, I'll tell you what you've when done he, when he came as a suffering servant to pay for the sins of us yeah. to show us the way well that doesn't make no sense to call him Ezekiel prophet, why are you ignoring prophet Ezekiel sorry no no man uh, no man is accountable for his father's sin Why? that's what Ezekiel prophet Ezekiel says but you ignore that Oh, no, no, and, and and when um, God says to Ezekiel, Ezekiel the prophet says this: What he says, if a wicked man turns away from his wickedness, yeah, and becomes righteous, then his wickedness will not be reminded of him. No killing, this doing that, believing in this, believing in that. His salvation is what turning away from wickedness. What's that got to do with? Um, see, here's the problem you have. You think Jesus? I have a problem. Uh, you do. I'll explain it to you. I'll well, explain. You think I, I've got the problem. That's why. Again, yeah, yeah. No, I'll explain to her though. All right, come to me you go. And it's, it's Karen, so long. it's been a pleasure. You have a little bit Reflect on what I said. Yeah? EF Dawa. And I challenge you, go to EF Dawa, check out the comment section, and nobody will be abusing you. I'll well, see. Yeah? That's my solemn promise. I'll just let them know. I'm not drunk. Um, let me just, show you, just, let me just show you something before I go. I don't go raving. I know. And I'm, I'm going to show you something before I go. I agree, I agree. Look, look, look. Yeah. You see this app here, yeah? Mm. Let me show you something. I'm in control of this, yeah? These are all our videos, right? I can see the comments as they come in a minute ago on every video. Anyone says anything well, derogatory. I who, who, who was filming the one when. Listen, Pansel, listen, listen. It was terrible. Karen, Karen, Imagine. Karen, Karen. All, do you know what I asked him? All I asked him was. Um, can we go into any Islamic country and do what you're doing, slagging off... What? Yeah, hold on. You slag off Christians. Yes, you, 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 you come here and you slag off what? Christians. What? What? You say he's not real. Well, stop. Karen, no. Hold on, we Did I slag you off? No. Many of them do. No, have I slagged you off? No. No, have I slagged you off? You're saying the God that I believe in no. is, is not no, real. No, I didn't say that. You're saying I didn't Jesus say that. isn't God. I didn't say that. 
So he is then. I didn't say that either. So so easy. No, I, first thing, I didn't slag you off. Second thing, I asked you just a question why you believe what you believe. And you believe what you believe because of the New Testament. Then I question the validity of the New Testament. I didn't slag you off. Believe what you like. I don't care. We, we could not, and many people have said this in the comments. Why would we allow you in to tell lies? Right. So I was saying that in many Islamic countries, you cannot go in, do what we're doing here, and me start saying... The Prophet Muhammad, he wasn't a prophet. He was he he was just a man. He wasn't sent of God. I could not do that in an Islamic country. And that's why, why I was like, oh, you you're really thinking. And, and which, which really... Muslim countries have you been to? Sorry, sorry. Which Muslim countries have you been to? I haven't been to any. Right. So you talk about um, Muslim countries and what was, they do, and yeah, you've been there. Yeah. I was. Excuse me. Excuse me. I was asking a question to him. I didn't say I knew. I said. Can you? Can, um, can you process the lies? No, of course not. I asked him a question, you yeah, understand? Yeah. I said, what's happening here? Right. Most of the people here are yeah. Muslim, yeah? Yeah. Could I go to your country with my Bible and stand there and say, no. this is the truth? No. Your God, Allah, no. and of course Muhammad. Not. Of course exactly. Not. Right. You, you can't so go to France. So okay. why are they allowed to do it here? Could you go to France and do this? Yes. No, you couldn't. I would have thought so. No, not at all. Okay, well. So See, um, I didn't really want to be on camera, you know. Yeah. What's that? Hmm? Where's the speaker's corner in France? No. This is unique to the no, world. The point here is this. The point here is this. This is unique in the world. There's no other place that speaker's corner. All right. But the point here is this, Karen, yeah? I've not slagged you off. I've not slagged Christianity off. I don't slag Christians off. I'm not interested in egos. I'm interested in truth. And if someone believes they have the truth, and their truth can't be reconciled with my truth, then I have to establish it is what they have is true. No. Now, you can't support what you're saying is true because you don't even know the history of what you're quoting from. That's a problem. Now, I, I accept, Karen, I only come once a month, right? Message me on, on Facebook. Well, look, arrange time, you'd come back after you've done all your research and then counter what I've said. I don't mind that. I'm not here to bully no one. I'm here to establish what's true or not. Now, these are things I've encountered over my history of debating with Christians and studying their sources. Yeah, they, they base those, their whole belief on three assumptions. Authors of the Gospels were disciples, eyewitnesses inspired by God. None of these three things can be supported. None of them. And when they can't be supported, the question you need to ask yourself, if what you're reading isn't from eyewitness testimony, isn't from disciples, nor is it from God, why do you believe it's true? That's the question you need to ask yourself. Anyway, Karen, I'm not here to slag you off. Yeah? EF Dawa, proper channel. Yeah? Biggest Dawa channel in the world, alhamdulillah. You'll love it. No, none of this nonsense, none of this politics, drama. All I ask the guy, can we do this in your country? I didn't, and then he, he, and then he starts saying, oh. Why can't you do it in a Muslim country? Oh, oh, she's saying that there's no countries, there's no churches in Muslim countries. I did not say that. No, 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 no. Why can't, I did not say why that. Can't, why can't you do this in a Muslim country? I've, what, what do I... No, why, why do you think oh, you can't right, protestalize okay. in a Muslim country? And you can here? Because we're free to speak here. We're free to choose here. It's a democracy. We can... Because can this isn't a Christian country. Voice. That's your first thing you want to establish. Because you, if this was a Christian country, you wouldn't teach revolt from monkeys in school. I don't believe that. No, but we teach it in school. What is wrong? So, so what yeah, kind of Christian country teaches no, that? The, the terrible thing, there's no alternative. All right. It's either that... And what, what, what do you think about homosexuality according to Christianity teachings? Is that all right? No. All right, but this country says it's all right. So but what part of this country that. is a Christian country? But we're against that. No, but which understand. part of this country is a Christian country? It's now becoming non-Christian. Therefore, we can speak about Islam and Christianity because nobody cares. Because right. it's not a Christian right. country no more. Now, if, now if, I went to, uh, if I went to, let's say, uh, is it northern Nigeria that's Christian? High, high Christian? No, or southern Nigeria? If I went to a hardcore Christian country, yeah, let, let's, I can't tell you what, if I went to the Central African Republic and started preaching with the Quran, yeah, I'd be I'd butchered with a machete because the Lord, Christian Lord's army would do me. Yeah, because there are Christians killing in the name of their God as well. So you can't go anywhere and speak like this because this country is not a Christian country. Yeah, you can, you can speak and discuss it, anything you like. Yeah, take care. EF Tower, don't forget. Anyone got a card? Is it Carolyn or Karen? Karen. He said Carolyn. He called you Carolyn. You don't even know her name. 
Yeah. I'll find you online, I'm no, sure. No, find, no, listen, don't just find me online. You've got a card. Has anyone got a card? I want you to find me online. Right here, on here. Go on. Let me give you a card. Take, take, take this and take wait, no, wait, the paper. Wait, wait, oh, you card. got one. We're professional. We're proper cameramen. See, I, 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 need, to, so I need to know where you're coming from. Do you understand? Hmm? Exactly. That's what I see. Have you got a pen on you as well? Uh -huh. Have you got a pen on you? Uh -huh. Oh, not very good in a pen. Somewhere in here, amongst. Oh, thank you. I got one. I got, rubble, I got one. You got one. Yeah. This is my Facebook, yeah? All right. Well, that'll be interesting. Oh, it's nice, my Facebook. Very pleasant place to be. So that's our, um, that's our YouTube channel. All right. Um, that's me, my spider scroll. Take care, Karen.